The Yars Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Launcher drives during the Victory Parade marking the 70th anniversary of the defeat of the Nazis in World War II, in Red Square in Moscow, Russia, Saturday, May 9, 2015, AP Photo, Alexander Zemlyanichenko Russia test fired its advanced RS-24 Yars Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Wednesday, the Russian Defense Ministry said, amid rising tensions between Washington and Moscow. The road mobile, solid-fuel ICBM, which was armed with multiple warheads, was launched from the Pulset 6 state testing spaceport, according to Russian state-run media outlet TASS. The launch aimed to confirm the advanced missile system's capabilities and flight characteristics, the ministry said. The Yars missile went into service in 2010. It can be either mobile or silo-based, and is a multiple independent re-entry vehicle, or MIRV, replacement for the older Topala M missiles. With a range of nearly 7,000 miles, the Yars was designed to beat enemy missile defenses. The Yars has the ability to alter its trajectory during flight, and this maneuverability makes it more difficult to intercept. It can also deploy active and passive decoys, countermeasures that make it more formidable. And then there are, of course, its multiple warheads. Russian Defense Minister This coupled with the fact that the Yars only take seven minutes to launch poses serious threats to the missile defense system used by the U.S. to protect its homeland and its allies, according to the Missile Defense Advocacy Alliance. The RS-24 is a vital part of Moscow's effort to increase the survivability of its nuclear forces and to counter missile defense systems being deployed by the United States. The latest test comes just a few weeks after the release of the Trump administration's Missile Defense Review, a document highly criticized by Moscow, and just days after the collapse of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces INF Treaty, the last line of defense preventing a major nuclear arms race, from which the U.S. withdrew over alleged Russian violations of the Cold War-era nuclear arms agreement. As he ripped up the INF Treaty, President Donald Trump warned the U.S. will move forward with developing our own military response to Russian moves. Russian President Vladimir Putin then stressed that Russia will respond quid pro quo. The Russian Defense Ministry has called for the development of a new land-based cruise missile, a variant of the sea-launched caliber missiles, and hypersonic missiles. There are also reports that Russia is again testing its much-hyped Revesnik nuclear-powered cruise missile, although Moscow apparently has yet to achieve success with this new system.